As you have hopefully seen from my previous videos, I am rebuilding this beautiful but crash damaged Audi TT. And since we have the whole cars, car stripped and everything is out, the idea was to go through every serviceable item, check everything, repair and uh, replace all of the parts that are repairable. Since this is a Quattro, meaning all-wheel drive car, uh, there is a Haldex pump and a rear differential, of course. One other thing I wanted to check was this Haldex pump motor. And um, I took this thing out of the rear differential. It was uh, really dirty. I'm going to show you in a minute. And I was surprised since the car has only 70 something thousand kilometers. So that's 50 -ish thousand miles. Um, it was too dirty for the mileage of the car. And I posted a couple of pictures of before and after since this is now cleaned and uh, repaired. And there is an overwhelming amount of feedback from people stating that their Audi dealers don't want to do this thing as a um, maintenance. And I checked with my local Audi dealer and they do say that it is not seen as a serviceable item. So you tell me when you see the photos before and after this thing was pulled out, whether you would leave it in there and say, yeah, that's perfectly fine the way it is. Or would you rather do the half an hour job um, doing it yourself or even less when the car is at the dealer on the ramps, on the, on the car lift and everything. I do not have car lift, so it's a half an hour job for me. Um, and do the job. So I'm going to show you exactly how easy or not easy it is to do this. Um, what are the pros and cons? What are the things you need? The parts you might want to change and basically just how easy it is to do it yourself. And if you do have a car with an all wheel drive that is Volkswagen Audi um, group, please consider doing this or asking your dealer to do this even if they say it's not necessary. This is how the motor pump looks like. There are two screws holding it in to the differential. Those are the two O-rings, the black pieces over here that needs to be changed when you pull it out. This is the filter that's been held down by two 10 Torx 10 are the screws and um, this whole plastic piece comes off, cleans and goes back on. Um, other than that, this plastic piece holding the cable has these two clips on the ends. So this clip needs to be pushed, um, yeah, pinched together and pushed through the hole because uh, in the car they are holding the cable to the rear differential and then at the end there is a standard Volkswagen Audi two pin connector. So there's not, not much to it. Once you pull this thing out, it does require um, a bit of a wiggle once you remove the two screws. They are 10 millimeter or Torx 30, I think. So basically two screws and the thing is out and then two more screws to remove the filter. And the filter is really fine plastic mesh. So easy to clean with a brake cleaner or whatever. And yeah, going to show you right now where it is and how it looks like. All right, so we are now under the car. Let me go ahead, grab the camera real quick. Uh, please do excuse the handheld. It is really tough filming in here. So what do we have here? This is a where the pump motor, motor sits. This is where the cables route through on top and then they clip back over here so this might be a bit of a struggle to undo this connector not this one this is a big one behind there is another one if you do struggle you can always remove these two screws and then just pull out this whole uh, controller for the rear differential or haldex whatever and then with that you will have an easy access to unplug the two pin connector as well as much more room to unclip those two clips holding this plastic piece in. 
because once you unclip those two you will have a cables for the, the motor free and then what's left is to let me just go ahead and adjust the camera again undo the two bolts and take the pump out Goodness. Yes, I know it is a bit unfair that the car that I'm working on is already on a jack stands and some other stands and more stands in the front. Uh, you are never um, safe enough. Um, but e you get the idea, you can do this if you drive the car back, uh, if you back your car up on the ramps or if you have an access to a lowered, I don't know, like a ditch or what, whatever, yeah? You can basically do this thing um, working on the jack stands. So now I'm going to put the camera and please don't laugh on a really, really small tripod so we can fit under the car so I can show you really good how um, we are going to do this. In my case, I'm going to show you um, how I remove the pump, but I'm going to put a pump back in since I already cleaned everything and put the new O-rings and stuff. So don't be confused. It's the same process uh, like Audi likes to, to call it, only in reverse order. So let's go. I really do hope that you can appreciate the amount of uh, commitment I'm putting in making this video. So if you do, please consider subscribing as um, I would be really thankful for that. So um, as you can probably tell, we are now under the car. Please don't be confused. Um, in your case, there will be a exhaust pipe coming through here in the middle and then making a turn, sorry, the other way around, making a turn around here. And exactly where the turn is, is where this bulge on a rear differential is that. So what you would usually see, of course, uh, other than your exhaust pipe would be a drive shaft that goes all the way to the front. So to the engine, this is where the rear differential gets um, power. There will be a box, which is a controller for the Haldex on this side. This is the big connector that's that it is for. We don't do that. We don't touch that. In this case, this is the side that we are interested in. Also, please do note that there are a couple of, um, there are two pairs of screws for draining oil and liquids. One, the one that is important for us is this is the drain plug over here. So towards the front of the car. That is the drain plug for um, the Haldex. And I ha as I'm speaking, I see a drop of oil looking me straight in the eye, getting ready to drop directly in my eye. So we're going to take care of that. Um, then there is a fill plug on the left-hand side of the car. It is a bit confusing as I'm upside down. Uh, there is like a bulge on this side uh, going extruding towards the wheel of the left hand side of the car and it has a bolt on the side. You can see a thing. All right, I'm going to show you where the bolt is at, but please mark this is the eight millimeter drain plug over drain plug screw over here. So pointing towards the engine. So we're now looking from the left hand side. This is the field plug. This is the five millimeter and I confirmed it is a five millimeter. So you don't need a four millimeter as well. This is the field plug. This is where you fill the oil back into the Haldex. If you've guessed that we are now on the right hand side of the engine or the, the car, sorry. You guessed right, this is now where the pump and motor, I don't know why I call it, engine sits. 
and you can see two screws in the housing, two holes for the screws in the housing on this side. And this is, like I said, where your exhaust pipe will be going through somewhere like that towards the back. All right, so now that I've got uh, everything cleaned, all we need to do now is make sure we insert it back the right way. I got the right orientation. The cables should point upwards. This is how the pump sits in the car. Like I said, two 10 millimeter screws. This thing um, clips on to the housing of the differential itself. And it's really hard to get to those clips because you need to pinch them on the, on the rear side and then slide them out. And they sit over here and they clip onto the controller of the Haldex, which sits on the left-hand side of the car. A little bit of POV repairs. This is where, uh, this is where the black clip for the cable sits. Those are the two clips. This is the one. So right beneath the boot or the trunk of the car over there on the upper side, the other one is over here at the beginning. This is where the pump is at and this is where the connector sits. I'm going to connect these two pin, these connector to the, con the controller and then that's it for me. I need to replug the drain plug and fill it with oil. In your case, first thing you want to do is go the reverse order. So unclip, 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 two screws, get the, end, the motor out. Take a wild guess at how many times have I bumped my head into a uh, subframe, frame, <laughs> and other <laughs> bits and pieces of the car and put it down in the comments. And let me tell you, you're wrong. It's a couple more times than that. So now we have our controller um, with us. And the thing is, if you um, are struggling with undoing the connectors, you can also remove the controller, which is also held down by two 10 millimeter Torx 30 screws. So um, honestly, I forgot the way it goes in. So I'm going to struggle for a second over here. The second I turned off the camera, I have figured it out. So yeah, I could have, I've could have come up real uh, much smarter on camera than I am. So now that we are back from under the car, I want to go through the um, overview of the process more or less. So the first thing you want to do is drain the old oil. So you remove the eight millimeter Allen um, screw, let the oil out. In the meantime, you can undo the two screws that are holding the motor in, unclip those two clips, unclip the, the connector. If you cannot unclip the connector, you can undo the two more screws that are holding the controller in place which is going to allow you to move the whole thing out and unplug the, the connector for the motor. You just wiggle and pull the motor out. Some more oil is going to come out from there. Then you can undo the two small T10 screws and clean the filter, clean the motor, clean everything, clean the housing of the Haldex and everything, let the oil drain out really good. And then basically it's the rever reverse process. Uh, putting the motor back in place just like we just did. Setting the screws in, clipping in the cables, clipping in the connectors, putting everything back, plugging the drain plug first, and then using a, this is very important, a Haldex specific oil to refill it. I am not sure at the moment of filming this how much oil and what the procedure is for the setting the correct level. Usually set the car on a leveled surface and then just um, add the oil to the fill plug until the oil starts dripping from the, dr uh, the dr fill plug. 
uh, there are a couple other videos from other YouTubers who are much more into detail on how to refill that. So if you are willing to do this yourself, I'm either going to put an info, maybe in the description, maybe uh, later in the video, just how much oil it needs to be added and how to set it correctly. But make sure to use Haldex specific oil. It's not gearbox oil, it's not differential oil, it's Haldex oil. And in my case, I'm going to use this extra large, extra scary syringe stuff to like, um, because you can put it in, in a, at the angle and then just pull the oil back in. And with that, that's basically the whole process that um, the Audi dealers won't do. I do not understand why, because I'm, I'm trying to edit this video to be 10, min 10 minutes at maximum, so you can see that it is not a big deal. Um, however, yes, my car uh, doesn't have many parts, so it's much easier to access bolts and stuff. But I mean, at the Audi dealer, they are qualified to do this kind of work, so it shouldn't take them much longer than it took me. So yeah, um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Um, and yeah, I will continue working on the engine. So if you are interested in seeing the whole process of rebuilding this car from being totaled uh, to hopefully being br looking better than brand new and working better than brand new, please consider subscribing and check my other videos out. Thank you so much. See you. Bye.